The BKR 5000 VHF radio weighs approximately less than one pound. It can program up to 5,000 channels. It currently has 31 zones pre-programmed into the radio. There are three zones that are for command zones and three zones that are for cloning zones. Next, we will discuss the buttons and functions of the BKR 5000. Starting from the top, we have our on and off switch, as well as our volume selector. We have our channel selector. We have a collar switch, which controls locking of the keypad. We have an additional collar switch that has four letters, A, B, C, D, and those are pre-programmed for the first four zones in this VHF radio. We have a heads up display which indicates what zone and channel you're currently in. And we have an orange button which is a home button, not an emer button. I repeat, that's a home button, not an emer button. We have our VHF antenna. Now moving to the side, we have our backlight button, push to talk, scan, and our talk around button. Coming to the front, we have our microphone and speaker, our screen, our four soft key buttons, which are indicated by the labeling above them. We have our keypad. Moving over to the right side of the radio, we have our protective covering once removed, this is where our cloning cables can be hooked up, as well as our lapel mic. To access the numerous zones within the radio, there's two ways to do this. You can either go to your soft key, where it's labeled zone, click that, and all of your zones will drop down. Either press next or previous, to cycle through those zones. When you find the zone you're looking for, simply press enter to go to that zone. You can toggle through the channels with your channel selector. The other way you can access the zones is by simply pressing any button on the keypad here. You'll get the zone selector drop down menu, and then you just press next or previous and enter to enter that zone. Building a command group with the BKR 5000. So, like previous VHF radios, we typically had one command group that we can program. On the BKR 5000, we have three channels that we can program as our command groups on here. So if you go to zone and you go down to 26, you'll see that zone 26, 27, and 28 are all command zones that we can program as our own. So let's program command zone one. We're going to add XSD Command 5, XSD TAC 5, XSD TAC 10, XSD Air to Ground 1, and Air Guard as our command group loadout. Our first channel is going to be XSD Command 5. So as you can see, we're in the north zone, XSD Command 5. If you want to add that to your command, command zone, you simply push channel plus, it'll drop down the three zones that we can program. And we already said we're gonna program command zone one. So simply press enter. It'll ask you what channel you would like to have that numbered. It defaults to the first channel available. Press enter, channel added and it goes back to our North Zone command group. So we're gonna add XSD 
TAC5, XSD TAC5, channel plus, command zone one, press enter. It's gonna default to the next available channel, which is two, enter, channel added. Next channel is TAC10, TAC10, channel add, command zone one, defaults to the next available channel open, channel added. Next channel is going to be our air to ground one, XSD air to ground one, channel add, command zone one, defaults to the next available channel, which is four, press enter, and the last is air guard, channel five. Setting up your scan channels in your command zone is very simple. First, go to menu, go down to channel scan list, and simply click what channels you would like to scan. Once you've selected what channels you'd like to scan, just simply press the exit button Settings will save, press again, and your channel will have a small check mark indicating that that channel is being scanned. The other option of scanning a channel without going in the menu is simply holding the star button and it'll remove the scan check mark and that channel from the scan list. So right now we're we are scanning XSD TAC5. If I were to hold the star button, it'll remove that scan channel. And let's say we want to add XSD TAC10 to our scan channel. We simply just hold the star button. We receive the check and that indicates that we are scanning this channel. Our cloning channels are gonna be zone 29, 30, and 31. So if you enter the zone, type in 29, you'll see it's labeled clone one. As you go down, clone two, and then clone three, and that is the end of our zones. We only have 31 zones pre-programmed into this radio. It's simply press menu, go all the way down to where it says GPS, select enter, toggle down to where it says GPS information, and it'll give you your instant coordinates and your location of where you're standing. Next, we'll discuss how to change our command tones and frequency on the BKR 5000. When you're in your command zone or your command channel and you wanna change your frequency or tone so you can unlock the repeater, you're gonna simply go down to your soft keys. You'll see the second button from the left is labeled TXCG. That is your tone list. If you hit the button, you'll have a drop down menu of all available tones and their frequencies that are assigned. So if we simply want tone 11, we will go down to number 11, press enter, settings will save, and you will see on the bottom line that it's transmitting in tone 11. Next, we will discuss how to create a priority channel in your command zone. We will use XSD command five as an example for our priority channel selector. Simply go to menu on your soft key, go down to where it says priority channel in your list, scroll down to where it says zone 26 priority one channel, Go down to where it says select. 
you can pick whatever channel you would like to create your priority one channel. We're gonna pick XSD Command 5, enter, settings saved, and now you simply just exit back to your command zone. Now you will see XSD Command 5 is labeled P1 above it, indicating that this channel is our priority channel. Safety and maintenance of the BKR 5000 shall include washing with mild soap and water, utilizing a soft bristle brush, never submerge the radio in water, never use hydrocarbons or harsh chemicals, and please do not grab the radio by the antenna. This concludes the in-service VHF video training on the BKR 5000. For any questions, comments, or concerns, please utilize the user manual, target solutions, or any of the members from the radio committee. Thank you.